Welcome world back to the creation of the Oasis of Modern Design Aquascaping. Over the last umpteen years, we've been dreaming up this plan to transform this vinyl siding house into the most amazing high intensity, high detail water feature that we've ever created. Stay tuned as our team and our friends descend together on my house and demolish what I've built in the last 20 years during the creation of what we call the watering hole at the Oasis, at Modern Design. Stay tuned, because it's going to be amazing. Ow. So we're here, we followed you. You left, we came, we conquered. That's what you get, buddy. 6,500 gallon reservoir, 192 large aqua blocks. And the footprint is Nine feet by sixteen feet. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do like a horseshoe fall right here. It curves around, and the reservoir. The reservoir is big. So I'm thinking we can cut. Like if we do two more stones, we can sort of cut a diagonal, the reservoir diagonal into the patio, and then we can put some massive pieces of flagstone over the edge of it that are tied into this patio. I'm really into having like this dropping way down and having like a nice outcropping right here where I can have some junipers and stuff growing down that. And then once we kind of get, I think that one more big rock right there and then we can figure, put some pins in and figure out where this giant hole's gonna go for the reservoir. Nice. I don't even know what day it is, guys. It's check-in time. I'm super excited, man. Things are going great today. All kinds of things have been happening. This guy's actually got a liner. I'm gonna talk, keep talking about how many layers of defense that we're doing to keep moisture from soaking through because I have a finished basement down there and the last thing I want is an indoor pond by accident. This whole thing, these guys did a great job of waterproofing the entire wall and then coming back in and putting a French drain along just below the bottom, the under drain system we always like to use in our ponds. Then they came in with a brand new piece of EPDM and put it all the way down the outside. It's just like layer after layer of defense to keep the moisture from getting against my foundation. 
this drain pipe that's underneath here is wrapped in a sock that keeps sediments from clogging it up. Then you've got this three quarter inch clean aggregate. So any water that runs down my house from the grandkids splashing, any water that gets in through the landscape beds, all of this is lightly pitched towards the house. It all goes into this French drain and runs out. So I feel like we've done our due diligence now to every capacity to keep water from getting against the foundation in my house. We got this done. We're going 64 inches on the next one. 10 by 7. 10, 10 feet by 17 feet, 64 inches deep. That's the hole for the blocks. Sweet. Ginormous. We started out with 200 large aqua blocks. If you guys don't know how we determine what size to make our reservoir, you know I'm doing a negative edge on my pond because it's awesome. But there's calculations for how to determine water in motion. If you want to know how to size your reservoir to your negative edge in your water feature, you need to follow the links to our water in motion videos. I did a lot of educational stuff about that so that I don't have to explain that to you right now. But the thing I will explain is what we decided to do as we get into this reservoir, it's already holding 6,500 gallons. I'm like, why don't we just sink that thing two more feet in the ground and I'm gonna put a bib liner in there. We have a video about bib liners. If you don't know what that means, if you wanna know how it works, you can watch the video. But what it's going to accomplish is that at the bottom of this massive waterfall system, there's gonna be this fake pool, if you will. It's going to look like a body of water, even though this reservoir can be 80% empty and it's still gonna look like there's standing water on top. Because one of the things we've been practicing over and over on all our different projects is how do we make this large holding area at the bottom of the water feature look less like a gravel pit? That's the thing, you've got this big holding area the water level fluctuates, no fluctuation anywhere else. Everything, it's like water pouring out of, out of a pitcher. It only gets full, it pours out. The water level changes down in here. Well, the challenge is, how do you not see it? How does it not become a hole? You need to have all this fluctuation, but it's a big area and we wanna make sure it looks fantastic. So today, me and the guys decided we're gonna sink the whole entire holding area two feet further down in the ground so that we can create a fake pool, do a lot of aquatic plants down there. It gives us so much more capacity to do detail work and do plant pockets. This is right outside my office door, right in the basement of my house. I'm gonna walk out, see this massive waterfall. The last thing I wanna see is a giant gravel pit. So we're just doing a lot of extra work right now so that we can turn this into an asset instead of something that we try to hide at the end of the water feature. So stay tuned. When you guys see the end of this whole project, let me know what you think, how it turned out, and if you think it was worth the extra time and effort because pretty much we spent a half a day doodling around with this and we haven't detailed it out yet. So it's gonna be a lot of work. We've done quite a few things on this project that cost us a day or two here and a day or two there. But at the end, that's what makes something awesome, awesome. You know, the devil's in the details. And my buddy Derek always says, how you do anything's how you do everything. So we're all just giving it all we got and we'll get done with it precisely when we're finished.
elevation here for our reservoir. We like to have an extra 12 inches of space so that the blocks can be out of square a little bit or however that's going on, but we ended up changing the angles of our dagger. We did something different and we've only got an extra six inches. What that means when we start to go in here and set our blocks is that even though they'll still fit in the space, we only have three inches all the way around and it's like they're four and a half feet tall stack of blocks. A three inch gap is really hard to do in, in an elegant job of backfilling. When you've got that nice six inch space all the way around, it just makes the process of backfilling it and getting it perfectly tight a whole lot easier. When I get down to a three inch gap, you end up with the air spaces all the way around and what really makes those aqua blocks strong, it gives them all their strength, is having that perfect backfill and the support all the way around. They have to be perfectly level on the bottom and they have to be square and backfill tight. So we're just gonna rip a little more of the wall out. Better to have a little extra room than not enough room because then you can do a better job of backfill and that's what makes a project work. So it's what we're getting ready to do. We thought we we're done, but we're not done. We're gonna dig some more, we're supposed to dig. Well, I am running back and forth, dumping a lot of the dirt and the rubble that we have. I am running that back and forth to a man that was godsend and needed a bunch of fill. We got lucky. This is where we used to dump. Can't go there anymore. <laughs> the place we're going to dump it is just the greatest. Come on, Bob. Work with me. Please leave your message for Real nice, Bob. Legit in the middle of a nightmare. This has been my life for the last week and a half. Continuously doing this. All day. Every day. Everybody wonder why it takes me so long. This. Yeah, that's, that's about the extent of that. That's one trip done. Neil said thank you so much. You saved him a lot of money filling in that hole. Because it was supposed to be a pool. He's like, but the pool guys came out here and said, we can't put a pool here. And I just looked up and I'm like, why would you ever put a pool here? There's trees all around us. It'd be the worst place for it. It's like, you should go back oh. like 20 feet. And he was like, that's what they said. I was like, Talking about oh, yeah. here we are having this like, opportunity to fill this hole. Tell him, like, uh, well, we'll the dump here is yeah, long. No as worries, can. no worries. Tell him however bad he feels, he can just uh, make up for it with cold beer. <laughs> Fine by me. Clear my throat into this microphone as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling discomfort. <laughs> my bum. <laughs> the story the brings back made. bad, bad memories. The made. Remember the bum times. <laughs> Remember the bum times. We had a connection. <laughs> you guys are famous. Yeah. Says who? The YouTubers. <laughs>
elevator, we got an escalator. Welcome, Redders. How was your ride? Great! That, now, that idea, you better get out of here now. Oh, Go. So I will talk nice. to you later. 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 <laughs>